What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna meal prep chicken that actually tastes good. You know how it is, we've all been here before. You meal prep chicken out or you just even cook chicken for one meal and it can oftentimes come out dry, come out flavorless and it can be a chore to eat. But if you've ever had Chipotle, the world famous restaurant, you know that whatever they're doing to their chicken is magical. Not only is it seasoned perfectly, but it actually makes chicken something that's enjoyable to eat. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to meal prep Chipotle style chicken at home. That way you don't gotta suffer through dry, boring chicken again. So if y'all are ready to get your epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Now real quick, I wanna let you guys know about a massive sale we're having on all of our apparel right now. These long sleeves, the joggers, the shirts, everything on FinalBossAthletics.com is half off this entire weekend. So get in there right now, we're guaranteed to sell out. We got the logos right here. We got the custom rubber tagging. We got everything. Make sure you go check it out. You won't regret it. FinalBossAthletics.com. Now, let's get to the chicken. What we're gonna start with is a full pack of chicken breasts. So I'm gonna start by opening up the pack and sitting the chicken breast down on a cutting board. And now what I wanna do is a little bit of trimming. So I'm gonna get some of this extra fat and gristle off of here. That way we can get down to the good bites only. If you see a part like this, sometimes when you cook that can get real chewy, it can really throw you off when you bite into a piece of chicken. It's got some weird gristle or something in it. So we'll just go in and remove anything that looks a little sus. And I do like to go in and cut this part out too. And then once I can look at it, flip it over and I don't really see anything that jumps out at me, I know that it's good to go. And once we got all of our chicken trimmed, what I wanna do is toss it on a food scale and weigh it out. What I'm looking for is right around two two pounds of chicken breast, or in grams, that's 996. With these three, we're at 825. So what I'll do is cut some pieces off of our last breast and see how close we can get. 917 and 991, that's good enough for me. Now what we'll do is grab a freezer bag and toss our chicken down inside. You wanna make sure you get one with a good seal because this is also where we'll be putting our marinade. Then once it's in here, we just seal up our bag. I'm gonna leave a little room at the end, get some of this air out, and I also wanna get the chicken all in one layer. Now that we got it in here, to ensure that it cooks evenly throughout, right, we don't want any of this chicken to be too thick. So what I'm gonna do is grab a blunt object. I will be using a sugar-free barbecue sauce from G Hughes. I'm just gonna go in and pound all of these breasts out. The goal is to thin them out. That way when we cook them, we're not waiting 20, 30 minutes for that inside to get done. And after pounding it out for a few minutes, you can tell just by surface area alone that it's much thinner. It almost fills the entire bag now. You can see these Massive breasts that were like this thick have now became much thinner. That's really gonna help us in the cooking process. Now, let's move on to the super secret marinade. And in order to make sure we get the perfect marinade, we're gonna need a blender or a food processor to break down the ingredients fully. I use a Ninja, this is the $100 version on Amazon. And to be honest, this might be the best $100 I ever spent. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start by placing my blender on a food scale and begin by adding 112 grams or half a cup of water down in. After that, we need 10 grams of extra virgin olive olive oil. I prefer olive oil personally, but if you don't got it, you can really use any oil that you got laying around. Maybe not beard oil. I don't know if I'd trust that. And next up, we need 30 grams of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. You can buy a can of this stuff really cheap. It's gonna lock in that flavor. Just pop that top off right there. And if you look down inside, you'll see chipotle peppers covered in that sweet red sauce. All I'm gonna do is put a spoon right down inside, get me a nice mixture of the sauce and the peppers, and then toss it down in here and watch that scale. After that, we just need one one clove of garlic. So I'm just gonna pull a clove right out like so and toss it down in. If you want a little more garlic, you can throw two in there, doesn't really matter. And now we get to the spices. We're gonna start with 14 grams of ancho chili powder. This is where the majority of the flavor is gonna come from. Since we're using 14 grams, I'm gonna yank that lid off and just dump it in and wash that scale. Next up, we're gonna toss in three grams of cumin, add a nice little flavor pop on the back end. We're also gonna need about a gram of oregano. A little bit of this goes a long way. And then finally, just a dash of salt and and a dash of black pepper. And once we got everything in the blender, all we wanna do is blend it on high for two to three minutes until everything is fully combined and we have the perfect marinade. So I'm gonna do this now. <laughs> 
And once this is blended up, all I'm gonna do is open up my chicken bag, take the marinade, and pour it down inside. If you got a good blender, you shouldn't be able to see chunks of anything in here. And then to make sure we get all that marinade, I'm gonna use a spoon, go down in the blender, and make sure I get any extras and put it down in here. The more marinade we got, the more flavor. And then once we got all our marinade in there, I'm gonna seal up the bag, but leave a little room at the end for air. I'm gonna lay the bag down, kind of get some of that air out, seal it up. And now I just wanna go in and move this chicken around and make sure all of it gets fully coated in our marinade. And once we got our chicken fully coated and looking good, it is time to let it rest for a little bit. What we wanna do is at a minimum, put this in the fridge for 30 minutes. It's gonna let that chicken really soak up all that flavor and make sure we get the most out of this recipe. But really, if you want optimal results, you can let this soak for a few hours, let it do its thing overnight. But as long as you give it 30 minutes, you'll be just fine. So I'm gonna open up my fridge and place it right in here to marinate. And if you like the idea of making foods at home that are not only delicious, but are gonna help you hit your diet, don't forget, I have a cookbook available at the first link in the description. The RJF Anabolic Cookbook. We got desserts in here, we got lunches, we got dinners, we got literally everything you need to take control of your diet. I always tell people that no matter how hard you're working out, you really can't outwork a bad diet. But a diet that you actually enjoy is the one you're gonna stick to long term. So check out my cookbook if you haven't already. It's got this recipe in there along with every other recipe on the channel, and it automatically updates. So every time I drop a new video, the book gets updated and you get all the recipes added for free. So check it out. And when I get back, ladies and gentlemen, it'll be time to cook this chicken. Let's go. And after about an hour, our chicken is marinated and ready to be thrown on the grill. Now, when it comes to cooking chicken in bulk, one of the fastest, easiest ways to do it is just gonna be to use a couple skillets. But if you have a grill, you can bake it in the oven. Really, as long as it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees, you're gonna be good to go. We're gonna go ahead and do the skillet method since I'm assuming everybody has access to this. Hit our skillet with some nonstick. I also recommend letting it preheat a little bit. That way, everything cooks faster. Now, all I'm gonna do is pull some chicken out of our bag, like so and just sit it down on the stove. And now that that skillet's going, we'll do the same with this one, little nonstick, and sit our chicken right inside. I'm gonna escape into here to get some better audio. That way you guys aren't annoyed by the food cooking. But basically what we wanna do at this point is just let the chicken cook. I like to set the heat to a medium high. That's gonna really heat it up. It's gonna cook it quick since we pounded it out. All of our chicken should cook pretty evenly. And basically what I'll do is let it cook for six to seven minutes on that first side. I'll flip it over, probably give it another six to seven minutes. And once I think it's done, I'm gonna temperature check it with an instant read thermometer. Make sure it hits 165 degrees. And once it's there, you'll know we're good to go. So that's the methodology. Anyways, let's get back to this chicken. Check it out, guys. After about 12 minutes or so of cooking, we have juicy chipotle chicken that we just made at home. Now, if you look at the outside, you see how it gets a little burnt, a little crispy there? Personally, that's how I like it. That's why I like to cook on a higher heat. Once you cut this thing up, you're gonna have a little bit of that crispiness in every single bite. And when I order chipotle, that's my favorite part. Let's start here. Let's move some of this out of the way. We're gonna start by taking this piece right here. And I'll just take my knife and slowly start cutting this into pieces. And even though this is chicken breast, when we cut it, the knife falls right through. Through. It's nice and juicy, white all through the middle. Got that caramelization on the outside. In my opinion, if you're gonna cook a meal prep chicken, this right here is the way to do it. And after we cut it all up, we are left with a pile of Chipotle style chicken that you can now toss into Tupperware containers and add to your meals all week long. Keep in mind, we have two pounds of chicken right here. So for some people watching, you might want more, you might want less. So all I'm gonna tell you is this, if you wanna double this recipe up, just double all the ingredients in the marinade and the amount of chicken, you're gonna be good to go. If you only want half of this, just take all the ingredients and cut them in half. Just follow all the steps I laid out, do those calculations and you will be just fine. And when it comes to what what pairs well with these meals, if you wanna keep it stupid simple, all you really have to do is buy some of these steam fresh veggie packs, toss it in the microwave for a few minutes. This one's asparagus, you can even add some brown rice, and boom, you combine these in with your Tupperware, in with the amount of chicken you want, and you got yourself an easy, delicious meal. And this wouldn't be an RJF video if I didn't try a little bit for you. So let's get in here, let me find a good piece, man. This one looks the most Chipotle-like to me. A little caramelization on it, cut about the same, fits the bill. See what we got here. Mm. That outside is a little crunchy. You get that Chipotle flavor infused inside. 
Mm, seriously, guys, there's a reason we keep going back to Chipotle. It's because the chicken and the way they season their meat is so good. So if you do this, you can capture all that flavor right in your own home. You're gonna save some money. And honestly, this is better for you than actual Chipotle chicken. They do a couple more things there that increase those calories. But here, we kept it lean, we kept it mean, packed it full of flavor, and we're doing our body some good. So in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, which I end up with for the entire two pounds of chicken is only 991 calories, 19 grams of fat, 201 grams of protein, four four grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. So in this entire batch, there's 201 grams of protein right here. Now, splitting it into meals, if you wanted to make four meals out of it, you would take those numbers, divide by four, you got 50 grams of protein at four of your meals. I'm gonna do eight meals, that's still 25 grams of protein. So do the math, adjust accordingly, make more if you need to, make less, but overall, you follow what I did, it will not steer you wrong. And for more great recipes, my cookbook, like I said, this is in there. All the other recipes that I use that thousands of other people use to reach their weight loss goals, man. When you actually enjoy what you're eating and you know what to do in that kitchen, really the results come uh, no matter what. So my cookbook is available. It looks just like this right on your phone. You got access to over 200 pages filled with recipes and it keeps on growing every single day. So link in my description. If you follow us in here, I guarantee you'll see results. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am out of here. If you enjoyed this video, the best thing you can do is smash that thumbs up button for me. It helps the channel out more than you even realize. Any comments down below, suggestions you want me to do, Chipotle steak, you want me to try food from different restaurant, you want to, what do you want to see? Y'all let me know. Every comment helps. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We got tons of videos on the channel and more coming. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of here. Appreciate you guys as always. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Bam, bam, bam. And don't forget, we got the apparel launch live right now. Finalbossathletics.com, half off everything. See you guys.